Hello, this is Barbara Nicolato, Nick Snacks, Del Bello's Design Team Member, and I'm going to show you an easy technique using texture paste, brushos, and sprays to create a lovely and interesting background, or it can be the card itself. Here are a few cards I've created using this technique. This is the Indian Moth Stencil by Sweet Poppy and the Leaf Mask Stencil by Lavinia. I've added gilding flakes to this one. Let's take a look at some of the materials I'll be using to create these. This is the Butterfly Swirl Backplate by Sweet Poppy Stamps. This one is Peony, also by Sweet Poppy Stamps, and this one is the block print by Lavinia. I'll be making these on multifarious cardstock by Lavinia, and I have two texture pastes. One is the Opaque Matte by Ranger, but with this project I'm going to use the Dale or Rowney. The brushos will be crimson and sprinkle it gold and I'm also going to be adding ultramarine and yellow. I used push pins to make holes on the top so that they'll be easy to shake out and I don't have to pull the top open. I'll also be using Lavinia's Mysticals Mike Infused Mist Sprays in Chestnut Bay, Bumblebee and Mahogany Twist. I will also use a water mister with paper towels, a palette knife, and a spreader. A watercolor brush also should be kept on hand if needed. I've created other Tuck Crafty to Me videos on how to use the texture pastes. So to keep this short, I've created a few on multifarious cardstock and I've allowed them to dry overnight. So here's the butterfly swirl back plate. I've already pasted it and it's nice and dry. Each creation will be unique to itself. I'm going to be sprinkling some of the colors I've chosen previously of the brushos and I'm going to just haphazardly put them on here and there. The beauty of this is if you think you need to add more color or you don't like exactly the way it is, you can either add more color or water and have a whole different effect. This Sprinkle It Gold I'm putting on here and there leaves a very glimmery pretty effect combined with water. Now the magic is about to begin. Rather than spray these first off with water, I'm going to be spraying them with the Mysticals, starting with the Mahogany Twist. Watch what happens. Each of the Mica colors combines with the Brusho colors, and a whole different effect and color is achieved. I think it's just beautiful. Quick tip on the mystical sprays. When you're done using them, open them up and pump some clear water through them to keep them from clogging the straw part. Now I'm going to add water with the mister and I'm going to move the card around to mix the colors. I'm even going to bring in my watercolor brush to spread a little bit of the color. I will be drop um, drying off large sections of color and I'll even be reapplying some Mysticals mica spray. When you get to the point that you really like the way it looks, that's when you stop. I'm going to set this aside on some paper towels to let it thoroughly dry. Here's the Lavinia block print stencil, which I've already pasted, and I've allowed to dry overnight. I'm going to repeat the same procedure and randomly sprinkle some of the brush -o watercolor powders onto this design. 
Again, I'm going to use the Mystical's mica-infused mist sprays to wet the brush outs. And when I'm happy with the result, I'll use regular water as well. I'm going to add a little more of the crimson brush out in the lower right hand corner and spray it with water just to get more color into that area. This looks to me now that I can just set it aside again and allow it to thoroughly dry. I will then be cropping them, mounting them onto card stocks and creating cards. I'll show you the finished products in a moment. With this card, I added the Cardio Sentiment set called Wise Words, and I mounted the card. With this card, I did a little more work. I added the Amble Green Mysticals Mica Spray because I wanted to achieve the effect of the bricks or the stones there having a little moss on them. Then I added some Baker's Twine with a charm by craft consortium called trowel i stamped the sea tangle lavinia 629 i colored it and i fussy cut it and i t attached it and then again i used the sentiment from cardio wise words and this is how i ended up finishing the peony card all materials used are listed below this video